30, a major development could leave homeowners paying the price. California is granting a substantial rate hike for state farms. Yeah, another thing going up here in the state. Kate Views, Tom Baker explains just how much rates will climb and what it means for California's underserved homeowners insurance market. State Farm, insurer of one in five California homes, has been granted an average increase of 20 percent, effective March 15th. But pro-consumer United policyholder says what you pay is based on your community's risk. Some may experience a, a very tiny rate increase, two or three or five percent, while those in uh, probably the higher risk areas could receive a 50% increase, possibly even more. Multi-line insurance agent Carl Sussman says State Farm proved to the Department of Insurance that it needed the increase. In California, I think we rank somewhere around the sixth or seventh least expensive state for property insurance in the country. The Department of Insurance issued this statement. Commissioner Laura is focused on protecting consumers and using every tool at the department's disposal to make sure policyholders do not pay more than they are required. But consumer watchdog Harvey Rosenfield says this. His belief is, and it's completely wrong, is that the companies will come back into the market and start selling insurance to homeowners and motorists again if he just gives them everything they want. And that's not going to work. The proof, says Rosenfield, is this. We asked State Farm, is there any rate increase in the homeowners marketplace that will lead you to come back and start selling new coverage? And they said no. Consumer Watchdog says on top of the 20% average increase homeowners will pay State Farm, renters will pay 11% more. Under these rate increases, there is no requirement that any, any of these insurance companies sell a single additional policy to anybody. State Farm drivers will pay 21% more, Geico drivers almost 13% more, and all state drivers 30% more. It all adds up fast. Well, considering that, um, we, we're still looking, but we don't think at the moment we can go buy a house in California. The best hope that more insurers come back and boost competition to lower California prices. Tom Vacar, KTVU, Fox 2 News.